So let's get into some of the pain points for legacy fax equipment. I've been working with fax servers now for over 20 years, and I've seen transitions from physical servers to virtual servers to the cloud. The driving force for these transitions change as the technologies change. Years ago, the standard was always a T1 PRI connected to a Brookshaft fax card. Occasionally, we would also see analog lines connected to an analog card. When companies started to retire the physical service to move to virtual service, there was no option to plug in a T1 or an analog line into a virtual server. So the next transition was to implement fax gateways such as a DMG, or also known as a Dialogic Media Gateway. These gateways allowed a seamless integration with virtual servers using SIP. Now companies are also looking to virtualize their telecom connections to get rid of all hardware. Once this is accomplished, it also allows them to move their entire fax infrastructure to the cloud. And by doing so, taking away any hardware points of failure. As I mentioned in the previous slide, to fully virtualize your fax infrastructure, you need to eliminate legacy phone connections. Replacing these connections with T38 SIP trunks is the best way to complete this virtualization. There are multiple advantages of a complete virtual fax system. The first benefit is the ability to move your entire fax infrastructure to the cloud of your choice. You can choose a private cloud or a public cloud such as Azure or AWS. Another benefit is high availability and disaster recovery. Since you no longer have a physical telecom connection and since your inbound DID numbers are virtual, you can have multiple fax servers backing up your primary server and your inbound fax numbers will automatically move to any online fax server. And finally, once your fax infrastructure is totally in the cloud, it reduces your maintenance and eases management. WriteFax transforms document delivery workflows to enhance user productivity, support digital transformation initiatives, and provide flexible faxing tools. WriteFax has multiple ways to route a fax, including delivery to a network folder, delivery to email, or even directly to an application using an API call. These methods guarantee an accurate and efficient delivery of the document. Using OCR, WriteFax can automate data capture, which reduces data entry errors and greatly reduces processing times. With the growing remote workforce, WriteFax allows at-home workers to send and receive faxes seamlessly using a standard web browser or even a tablet. Once you have fully transitioned your fax infrastructure to the cloud, you no longer have to be concerned about remote access to your private network. All users can connect remotely to your cloud-based WriteFax server using standard ports with no need to open firewall ports. You also have peace of mind knowing you have full redundancy and disaster recovery. Virtually any EMR can integrate with WriteFax. We have pre-built API integrations for Epic and all scripts. For any EMRs that we don't have a pre-built API, we have middleware that can be used to integrate with WriteFax. We also have a suite of connectors that can integrate with virtually any multifunction device. Moving your WriteFax system to the cloud will have no impact on your EMR integration since you can have a VPN from the cloud back to your private network, which will allow a seamless connection between them. If you move your EMR to the cloud, or it is already in the cloud, the integration is even easier since you don't need to have a VPN back to your private network. The next pain point I'd like to discuss is some of the roadblocks to IP fax migration. Moving a fax system to the cloud might seem like a massive undertaking, when in reality, if planned properly, it's not as difficult as it seems. There is no need to rip and replace. It can be done slowly with an extended test or POC period. In most cases, the actual man hours needed to complete the migration is less than you would think, and there is no additional licensing costs. As for security, in the upcoming slides, we will discuss the best ways to secure your fax transmissions in the cloud. Mike, would you like to add something here? Thanks, Jeff. Most customers feel that IP fax migration is ripped and replaced. At Cloudly, we work with the customer. We are always sensitive to their investment in fax server technology. We know that it is a low priority, but as soon as they experience problems with their legacy telecom, it moves to the top of the list. Over to you, Jeff. Yeah, we always recommend an incremental approach when moving your fax server to the cloud. 
First, we can help you build your right fax server in the cloud. We can then work with your IP fax provider to provide you with test fax numbers so we can thoroughly test your new environment before offloading production fax traffic to the cloud. Hey Mike, can you go over how Cloudly can help seamlessly migrate the fax telecom to the cloud? I sure can. We offer a live demo that can integrate with your existing test system or production server. We can set up a test system that you can offload your most challenging fax tasks. An incremental approach lets you optimize your fax system without requiring a rip and replace. Over to you, Jeff. HIPAA compliance is extremely important when dealing with healthcare related documents. RightFax already includes the tools to keep your documents secure and encrypted. With the introduction of IP faxing, the need to encrypt your faxes between the cloud and your IP fax provider is extremely important. Mike and I will now discuss how Cloudly is the best solution for keeping your faxes secure and encrypted. So Mike, tell me and the, and the audience a little bit about how Cloudly handles T38 and a little bit about what T38 is and how Cloudly incorporates it into their network. Thanks, Jeff. Um, Cloudly T38 is HIPAA compliant. So our transmission is real time. Our data is never idle. We qualify for the conduit exception with HIPAA. So this means we don't require a, a BAA, which is a business associate agreement. So a business associate agreement is designed for customers that provide store and forward faxing. At Cloudly, our faxing is real time and this allows us to encrypt our, our data. Cloudly encrypts from the customer location to our data center. We open up a private pipe where we deliver the fax securely. Once it hits our data center, we decrypt, and we put it out to the PSCN. So in the healthcare space, this is very important because the medical provider is responsible from their location to the telecom where they're, they have to ensure that the data is secure, so there's no hacking, no one gets the patient information, very important to the healthcare space. Okay, so that part I understand, when you talk about T38, what makes it different than any other protocol? Like I know a lot of providers out there just use, they say G711, they, they, they do a lot of voice traffic on SIP. What makes Cloudly different? Why, what makes your T38 different and what, what is T38? T38 is a, a protocol it's it's designed for faxing over ip so cloudly design their networks to provide fax over ip so we use the full standard of t38 g711 is a protocol it's a voice protocol some carriers claim that g711 is just as good as t38 but it's not true because if the customer's network is busy you're going to get a higher rate of failure in the healthcare space where hospitals are doing millions of pages a month, a failure is not really accepted because if you're doing millions of pages and you get 10% failure, well, that's 100,000 failures. So we're at a place where we can't accept to have this type of failure. So that's why the standard of T38 is very important in the healthcare space. Okay, I got you. So basically what you're saying is the way Cloudly handles T38 and encryption sets you apart from other standard voice carriers. Is that a correct statement? That's a correct statement. Using right fax in combination with a reliable and secure IP fax provider, such as Cloudly, will eliminate a single point of failure and extreme security risk associated with legacy fax machines and legacy on-premise fax service. Guaranteed uptime, increased security, and full business continuity ensures no delays or lost documents. Your internal IT staff no longer has to troubleshoot server crashes, telecom issues, and other problems associated with an on-premise fax server. Mike and I will now discuss how Cloudly T38 fax trunks are the best solution for reliability and redundancy. Earlier in the presentation, we discussed how RightFax has the ability to be redundant and be put in different data centers, either private or maybe Azure AWS. Mike, why don't you talk a little bit about how Cloudly introduces redundancy and disaster recovery and other things to keep the T38 SIP trunks running? Sure. Cloudly prides itself on its business continuity. 
we, we have many different ways that we uh, attack business continuity. We offer an active-active split workload. So server A and server B share the load. So if server A goes down, server B takes the load. If server B goes down, server A takes the load. So in the event that there's a disaster at server A, well, then server B is taking all the load and the customer never misses a beat. Very important in the healthcare space that, this, that they have a way to distribute their faxing. We also have another a form of business continuity is called an, it's an active passive. So that if, so if the active server goes down, the passive server will get a signal from Cloudly saying the server's down and the passive server will pick up. Thanks, Mike. So let me make sure I understand what you're saying. So one, let's say our customer has RightFact server in their own private data center, we can call it a private cloud in their New York area, in the New York region. They also have a backup RightFact server in, say, California. Let's say a disaster hits New York and their fax server is down. No power, everything's down. Their whole data center is down. Tell me a little bit about how Cloudly will handle that. Like, tell me how the backup server would connect. Is there any human intervention needed? Does any switches have to be done? So what happens in the two data centers? So the, ser the server in New York and the server in LA, we mirror the credentials. So if there's a disaster in New York, the server in LA takes on all the traffic without missing a beat. That's the beauty of Cloudly. You know, we pride ourselves on, on this type of technology. So you're, you're saying the numbers will automatically just be answered over in California if New York is Correct. They would, because they, oh, that, because that's the crazy. numbers sit in our data center, okay? So when you port your numbers over to Cloudly, we mirror those credentials on both servers. So server A and server B have exact same credentials. So that's why server A takes, takes a fax, server B takes a fax. Okay, so you're saying the customer is covered in both areas. So they're covered on the right yeah. fax side if it goes down, and they're covered on your end because you have redundant servers within your network. Absolutely.